Shehab asked, when will it be normal to holiday in space? Well, for me, this is an incredibly important question because I can't wait to book my holiday. Now, a number of people have gone up to the International Space Station, but that's cost many millions of pounds. But there are a few other plans in the pipeline. Virgin Galactic, for instance, will charge £125,000, but you go into what we call sub-orbit, and you're only up in space, or you're only weightless in space, for about five or six minutes. So um, I must admit, I want to stay weightless for a good long time. There's also another company called Orbital Technologies, and they're intending to build a space hotel. For this, you'll go up for a few days and spend a lot of time weightless. This costs of the order of £600,000, so it is very expensive, but you would stay in space for a number of days. So these are the current plans, but if you look in the past, when aeroplanes first started flying, it was incredibly expensive to fly, but the cost over the last few years has dropped. So I'm hoping the same thing will happen with space. The cost will just keep on coming down as more and more people do it. And then in the future, we might have cheap airlines going to, uh, to space and we can all stay out there. I look forward to that day.